Simply seek the boy yourself. He will come to me. Do you understand? Lamar's not going after him on purpose. He knows he's getting weaker. So that's why he's just, he's gonna wait. Go and find Severus. Bring him to me. And here he's all up. I know where he is. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Waxed. Oh, the spiders. Oh shit. Dude, get waxed. Who? Who? Mm. Oh my god, dude. I don't know if one expected, but sure, I'm gonna work. Oh. Oh. Damn. Alvin. No, no, no. I before. Oh, wait. Guys, guys, guys. I realized who he is. I realized who he fucking is. That's Mance from, um, from Game of Thrones. I knew. Oh, my God. I knew his voice sounded so familiar. It just, like, randomly hit me. Tonight, when the boy comes, <laughs> it will not fail you. I'm sure of it. Probably will. It answers to you and you only. Does it? I don't think it does. The one. Does it truly answer to me? No, I'm, I'm gonna say no. Because the wand chooses the person, you know? It's like if the wand chose Dumbledore, why the fuck would it choose Voldemort? Where does again, its you know? true loyalty lie? With Dumbledore, yeah. With you. <gasps> of course. What, was that like a <laughs> behind his back? I am not its true master. Mm hmm. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner. Oh. So it belongs to Snape. Damn. You killed Dumbledore. Yeah. While you live, the Elder Wand cannot truly be mine. No, he's better kill him. You've been a good and faithful servant, sir. No. But only I can live forever. Oh, shit. Nah, the server's taken because- <gasps> Wait. Oh! He just slit his throat. Oh my god. Damn. Ah. I mean, like... I feel kind of bad now. Because, <laughs> like, I- Yeah, I wanted Snape, yeah. I wanted revenge, but, like... I didn't want it to happen like that, you know? I feel kind of bad. Okay, I feel like... Mm. Oh, he's not dead. Please. Give me something. Quickly, a flask, anything. Mm, his tears? Take them to the pub. You have your mother's eyes. Mm. Mm, now he's dead. I mean, yeah, I feel kind of bad about it, about Snape now, like... I therefore command my forces to retreat. I've allowed your friends to die for you rather than face me yourself. Mm-hmm, it's calling them out. Me in the forbidden forest and confront your fate. Nah, no, it's definitely a setup. <laughs> Every last man, woman, and child who tries mm. to conceal you from me. Yeah, here's going, he's going. Like, okay, obviously, if we're gonna meet him in the, where he wants us to meet him in the forest, like, the fact that we're going to him, well, we're, you know, he can prepare or whatever, right? But like, nah, Harry's going, cause Harry's not backing down. Harry doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> like, he's fully aware this is not a good idea, but he's doing it. Oh. Yeah, we lost a couple. Yeah, Harry's Harry's gonna go to Voldemort. Harry's gonna go to Voldemort, so nobody else has to die for him. <gasps> no, George. Is that no? Which one was he? Which is he? Which one is he? Oh. <gasps> no, Lupin. <laughs> I will avenge Lupin. I will avenge him. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Like, I feel like Harry was gonna go already, but then just seeing everyone there kind of just was like, all right. 
Makes him want to go even more. But he's going to do something first. Oh, he's going to pour yeah, his tears in here. And can we see his memories? Oh, mommy! You're a freak! You're a freak, Lily! Hmm. Lily. There's mom. Oh, is that Snape? No, oh, he liked Harry's mom. That's what it is. Okay. She's jealous. She's ordinary, and you're special. Bro, is that why Harry's dad and Snape were beefing or whatever? Because Harry's dad stole his fucking girl from him. Is that why he doesn't like Potter and everything? Is that why he doesn't like Harry? Because his dad stole his girl from him. Just like your father. Don't say a word against my- mm -hmm. Nah, here's dad. I mean, they're, they're little kids, but like, yeah. Here's dad's kind of a dickhead, I guess. Severus. No, don't kill me. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now, to kill them. Hide her. Hide them all. Hmm. I beg you. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Anything. Interesting. Be strong. Damn. You would keep her safe. Lily <laughs> and James put their faith in the wrong person, Severus. Rather like you. Damn. And when he does, the boy will be in terrible danger. He has her eyes. Mm hmm. Sorry, yeah. If you truly loved her, no one can know. I should your life every day to protect the boy. He possesses no measurable talent. He's a Damn. And for the time being, mm. it will spread, Albus. How long? A year. Damn. So he's gonna die anyway. Oh. We both know Lord Voldemort has ordered the Malfoy boy to murder me. But should he fail, and should presume the Dark Lord will turn to you. Yeah, so wait, did they fake the death? You must be the one to kill me, Severus. Wait, oh, this is planned? This is planned? I don't think they faked it, though. Lord, trust you completely. Mm -hmm. Damn. I don't think he got, I don't, I think Dumbledore legitimately died, but like. Mmm. Is Harry a Horcrux? Oh shit! So wait, does Harry have to kill himself? <laughs> but like, you know what? Voldemort lives inside him. Yeah. So when the time comes, I have to kill Harry to kill Voldemort. The boy must die. <laughs> yes. Oh. Bro, what? He must die. What? Dude, no way he was dying. There's no way. Dude, that's so tough for Snape. That is so tough. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. That's fucked. <laughs> and Harry's gonna see all this. <laughs> so this is what he probably meant when they were talking at the top of uh, the tower right before it all went down, you know? Hey. Always. Yeah. Always time, time. Okay, yeah, that was his mom. Yes. He must die. That's fucked. And Voldemort himself must do it. Oh. That is essential. Well, Harry knows all this shit now. That was kind of a lot to take in, not gonna lie. Like, damn. Damn, that's a lot to fucking process for Harry. Then, like, honestly, if I'm Harry, I'm like, fuck this. This isn't my war. I'm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, nah, Harry's the type of dude that left that shit, like, probably let Voldemort kill him then. Like, does Harry, does Harry die, like, at the end of this? Where have you been? We thought you went to the forest. I'm going there now. You can't give yourself up to him. We, we've learned new information, Ron. <laughs> dude, how do you even explain to The reason I can hear them, yeah. the Horcruxes. Because I'm, I'm one of them. I think I've known for a while. But I think you have two. Kill the snake and then it's just him. Mm-hmm. It's like, what's funny is we had three left. 
the cup in the beginning, the snake. And then I was wondering, like, what well, what's the third one? Like, this movie, like, we got to, like, it has to show, it has to introduce the third one pretty soon. Right? And it, it's fucking hairy. <laughs> Dude, no way. Harry just, it's going to let Voldemort kill him. I mean, shit, dude, he has a lot, of, he has so much honor. And, uh, literally, uh, Harry's equivalent to Ned Stark at this point, or Jon Snow. He's li He literally has just as much honor as them. <laughs> Harry, die. I'm ready to die, fuck. Harry dying to save everyone else, you know, all his friends and everything. And then, like, yeah, everyone at Hogwarts, I think he'll do it. The resurrection start. Hmm. Oh, he's going to use that shit on himself. <laughs> He's gonna let Voldemort kill him and he's gonna use that shit. Well, how could he use it if he's dead? Well, he's gonna do some shit. He's gonna do something like that. Oh shit. Oh, okay. His parents? Serious Lupin? Okay. You'll stay with me until the end. Oh. Please. And his heart. That's deep. Stay close to me. Always. I thought he would come. Hmm. Oh, he, he's coming. He's just gonna let you kill him. <laughs> Maybe Voldemort might think it's sus if Harry just is like, dude, do it. Kill me. Do it. Voldemort's gonna be like, nah, there's no honor in that. Because, you know, the first time in Goblet of Fire, he wanted, like, an honorable fight. Oh, man. Even though he didn't really give Harry an honorable fight in that movie anyway. <laughs> he just bullied him when he was on the ground. <laughs> Harry? No. Hagrid! Wait, what are you doing here? Oh my god, I was wondering where the fuck Hagrid was in this movie. Oh my god, dude, what if they kill Hagrid? I'll be so pissed. The boy who lived. Mm -hmm. I'm about to do that shit again. I'm running a camera! Ah, oh, yep, you just let that shit happen. Oh, is that Dobby? You wonderful boy. You brave. Brave man. Bro, fuck you. You set me up. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Look at his face. <laughs> like, bro, don't even look at me. I mean, maybe Dumbledore knew that he would have the resurrection stone. A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did. It was Not... just destroyed many moments ago by none other than Voldemort himself. Not anymore. <laughs> you were the Horcrux he never meant to make. Mm hmm. Voldemort has the Elder Wand. Mm-hmm. And the snake's still alive. Yes. And I've nothing to kill it with. Help will always be given at Hogwarts, Harry, to those who ask for it. Mm-hmm. But I would, in this case, amend my original statement to this. Will always be given at Hogwarts to those who deserve it. Mm-hmm. Who deserve it. I don't need your help. Yeah, because he destroyed the Horcrux, but then Harry, it hurt. <laughs> he shoved her. It hurt him. That's when he got knocked back. Is he alive? He's about to be like... Oh, what a good... <laughs> hmm, Draco. Interesting. Oh. Oh, Hagrid. Dead. Hmm. Oh, the hat! No! <laughs> Well, you uh, you pick your house. Uh, the house picks you. Oh, oh that's so sad. Now everyone's about to see Harry's dead and stuff. Oh, and Voldemort's here, dude. Voldemort's gonna come and kill everyone, dog. Like, sounds like the Hunger Games music. Yeah, Voldemort. Of course he. Of course he lied about his promise. He's gonna try and kill everyone. Who is that? Hmm? Hagrid's carried. Oh, how, who Hagrid's carrying? Yeah, don't give a, they don't give a fuck that Voldemort's literally right there. There's like... He's dead! No! <laughs> Jenny! No! Oh. Dude, this must be so trippy for all of them to see Voldemort. Harry Potter is dead. From this day forth. You serve me or you die. You put your faith in me. Oh my god. I feel like she's gonna try some shit and he's gonna kill her. I'll be so fit. Harry Potter is dead! <laughs> and now is the time to declare yourself. Come forward and join us. 
or die. Yeah. Bro, wait till he says psych. Wait till Harry says psych. Draco. I was Draco. No. <gasps> no, Draco. He's gonna stay. Oh, never mind, never mind. Well done. Well done. Uh. <gasps> Neville is... Dude, don't kill Neville, bro, please. Neville Longbottom. <laughs> For you in our rank. I'd like to say something. Well, Neville, I'm sure we'd all be fascinated. Doesn't matter that Harry's gone. Stand down. Mm. People die every day. Friends, family. We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. In here. Oh. So spread. Oh, Fred. oh, Fred's the one that died. Fuck. They didn't die in vain. But you will. Mm. <laughs> Harry's heart did beat for us. For all of us. It's mm. over. Oh, yeah, Mary. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ha, <laughs> bitch! Mm-hmm. Oh, Voldemort's tweaking. He has... That was the biggest psych of all time. <sighs> oh, Neville! Oh, yeah. Lou, they're getting the hell out of here. They're getting the fuck out of here. Fuck up. Fuck all that. Jacob's mom came through. Oh. That snake's right there, too. Ooh. Hmm. No, there's a sword. Oh, we're gonna cut this snake's head off with the sword of Gryffindor, I'll imagine. You know what? Voldemort wasted no time at all. He wasted absolutely no time killing Harry. I respect that. Because <laughs> usually... My daughter, you bitch. <laughs> Kill Bellatrix, please. Oh, she's using the Avada spell, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, they get her? Oh. Oh. Waxed. Waxed. <laughs> Let's go. But normally the villain takes she usually has a really long monologue. But he was just he just wasted no time at all. <laughs> so I respect it. I killed Snape. But what if the one never belonged to Snape? What if its allegiance was always to someone else? Yeah. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. <laughs> Together. Oh shit. <laughs> I like how you call him Tom. Mmm. <laughs> he looks so he looks goofy. Oh shit, that's the money shot. Bro, I hope Neville's the one that killed the snake. That'd be, I feel like that'd be pretty good. Oh. Neville! Yeah. <laughs> yes! Let's go. Now Voldemort can truly die. <gasps> Zip. Mmm, the wand's gonna... Yeah, it's starting to hurt him. Yeah. It's about to just disintegrate? Like Thanos? Oh. Damn. Get waxed. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Why didn't it work for him? The Elder Wand. It answered to somebody else. When he killed Snape, he thought the wand would become his. The one never belonged to Snape. It was Draco who disarmed Dumbledore that night in the... Oh. The one answered him. Okay. Oh, okay. Until the other night when I disarmed Draco. So it's Harry's. At Malfoy Manor. Yeah. So that means it's mine. So is that why Dumbledore let him disarm him? Because he knew Snape was going to kill him. So then he's like, oh, but then he knew, he probably, then he knows that, okay, if Draco disarms me or whatever... Then Snape won't is one won't belong to Snape, blah blah. You know, so okay, dude, Dumbledore's playing chess this entire time, dude. No, you're not, no, you're not. Oh my god. Hopefully no one finds that and just like glues it back together. 
It doesn't matter what answer to them, so. 19 years later, what the fuck? What? Why are we making such a fat time jump? All right. Usually it's like a one year later, right? Okay. Oh, are these are, uh, is this like his, their kids or something? That kid looks so familiar. He looks so, I feel like I know him. I feel like he's been in like a Nickelodeon show or something. Oh, uh, it, Harry and Harry and Jeannie's kid. Wow. And they have a daughter too. It's a Draco. <laughs> where's Hermione? Yeah, I was about to say where's Ron and Hermione, but they're right here. Oh my God, dude, they look so weird. Like they look so weird with their like age aged up. Look so wrong. <laughs> What if I am Odin Slytherin? Well, then you'll never be as good as me. Will I ever be as good as you? No. Albus Severus Potter. You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. Mm-hmm. One of them was a Slytherin. Damn. He was the bravest man I've ever known. If it really means that much to you, you can choose Gryffindor. The Sorting Hat takes your choice into account. Ready? Ready. All right, well that was the last Harry Potter movie, The Deathly Hallows Part Two. Damn, do they ever do anything with like their kids going to Hogwarts and stuff, or is that just where is this where everything ends? Like they never did anything with that. All right, so that was the last Harry Potter movie. It's a great franchise, great series, everything. I had a lot of fun doing this. You know, I don't hate Snape anymore. He's a weird character. Like his, the way I felt about him was like up and down, you know? Cause like at first I was like, okay, he's just, like in the very first movie, first two movies, I was like, okay, well he's just kind of like grumpy old man, you know? And then who obviously doesn't like Harry. And then he kind of, then like he saved them in um prisoner of azkaban and i was like oh okay okay he's a bro he's a bro for that you know it's like, okay i have i have respect for him you know and then it's like okay but then he was just kind of like uh, kind of like a dickhead a little bit you know just making like passive aggressive remarks and everything that harry kind of taking his anger out on harry and then we find out in order of the phoenix harry saw in the snape's mind that you know his dad bullied him and everything so that's where it kind of comes from that's where it stems from it's like, okay, I kind of see that. It's like, okay, okay, that, that makes sense. It's not really fair to Harry, but I, like, okay. <laughs> and then in this movie, we find out that Snape was in love with Lily, Harry's mom. And so he did a lot. He did a lot for Harry out of, for, out of his love for his mother. I can respect that. I can respect that. And like, so technically he didn't like, he didn't like technically kill, well, he did kill Dumbledore, but it was like, it was planned from the beginning. Like it was planned. So I'm not, I'm not mad about it anymore. I'm not mad about that. Like, that shit sucked. <laughs> but, hey, knowing the context behind it, okay, I can't be mad about that. I can't be mad. I think with knowing the full picture of everything, I think he's actually a pretty good guy. So, and like, I feel pretty bad for him. <laughs> like, I, I feel for him. I feel bad, dude. Like, and now, now I'm sad he's dead. <laughs> I feel like the way he died was, like, really shitty, too. And, like... You know, but this movie had a lot of really good twists, actually. Like, like that Snape twist, and then Harry being the last Horcrux was pretty good because I know I mentioned it earlier in the video, but it was like I'm I was pretty sure there was three left, right? And then we knew two of them, but I was like, okay, well, where's this third? I was always I was thinking like, where's the third one at? And everything. And I was like, okay, well, they're they're gonna bring it up soon, like they they have to, you know? Like we're gonna go, we still have to go get that or whatever. And it was Harry the entire time. Like, wow. And like actually okay earlier in the movie when they were talking to the goblin about the sword and everything it's like why would snape put a fake in bellatrix's bowl and everything and i was like okay so that didn't make me think like okay wait snape actually like a bro like is he playing a double uno reverse card on us or something and like he, he was he was so i was like okay and it's because of all the love he had for lily that's tough it's tough because it's like he was kind of looking out for harry because of his mom but then he was also a dick because of like his dad so it's like that's that's really tough and he said harry has her eyes so 
like when he looks at him it's like i when i look in his eyes i see the woman i loved but then i look at his face and i see the dude i, I hated that's tough that's really tough like a part of me thinks like, okay snape has good in him like snape does something that makes me think oh okay he's he's a dickhead but then he does something else that's like wait no is he good like but then the entire he's he's good the entire time so it's like mm. but yeah <sighs> That was Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm gonna miss this series. I'm gonna miss it. Isn't it like a prequel too? Because then now I'm getting like recommended stuff about like Dumbledore when he was like super young. So like what is that about? Now that Harry Potter's over, we are gonna be doing Lord of the Rings. So that's Lord of the Rings is next. So but anyways, comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.